All right, guess what time it is? It's time to play some Ace 3 VR, and we've got ourselves an update this Friday. Uh, check it out. Look at them new new toys we get to play with. Just a Russian day, I guess. So, got a lot of Russian weapons. I'm not too familiar with Russian weapons, uh, but uh, yeah. So a lot of people wanted these, and uh, we got them. All right. So this is the GSH-18. Yep. Uh, cool. Look at it. It looks pretty funky. Oh, wow. Apparently it ejects from the top. Now look at that. Wow. That thing looks pretty unique. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. Can we lock the slide back? Yes, we can. Cool. And uh, nothing else, no other controls. All right, well, let's just get started. We've got a nice little magazine here. I think it fires uh, nine mil, nine by 19. And uh, nice little witness holes there. You can see all the bullets in the gun. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Doesn't seem to appear to be any rails at the um, on the frame, so I don't think you can put stuff there. But uh, oh, controller's freaking out again. Let me uh, let me check. Let me see. Uh, where is there a rail adapter? Let's try one of these. See if there's anything hidden here. Probably. Whoops. Probably not. I just. Nope. Just eject it around. Put a fresh mag in here. So you can't put anything on here. What about a stock? Let me see if we can put a stock on here. Let's put the uh, vector stock. Yes, you can. Kind of. It's kind of just there. But uh, yeah, there you go. Vector stock. And I'm pretty sure you can probably put a suppressor on this. Oh, don't do that. I forgot to make sure that the gun is clear. <laughs> don't look down the barrel of a gun. Uh, we'll check out the other suppressor there later, but uh, let's just uh, let's see what kind of Russian suppressors are there. Oh, you know, let's try the PBS-4. Ooh, yeah, there we go. So it's too bad it does not have a rail on the frame. That means you can't put any lasers or stuff on it. But uh, yeah, you know, it's Russian. You don't need lasers. You just need the power of being Russian to aim your bullets and will them into your enemy. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got the, uh, this is the PS14. Oh, PL-14. Ah, I was close. Again, not, I don't know too much about Russian guns, so... Uh, ah, yeah. But uh, PL-14, uh, I think this is a relatively new weapon, right? Um, came out in, like, what, 2014? 2015? I'm not too sure. But I don't know much about it because it is really new. Fires a uh, 9 mil, 9 by 19 uh, and, uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Very, very boxy. Very futuristic looking. It's a very Russian design to it. But, uh, it has a rail at the bottom, so you can add, uh, whatever you want. I am going to grab myself a... What should I use as a laser? No. <clears throat> Class light might be good. But I want a laser. You know what? Let's go with a uh, one of these. Ooh, yeah, nice. Fits the profile too. Huh? Yeah. Huh? And then we get a clash light. There we go. That's lined up, right? Looks like it's lined up. Oh. A little bit of that uh, is poking, uh, poking through, but that's okay. 
and let us add a uh, muzzle device. Let's go with the... Uh, ooh, what can we use? Suppressor salvo might be nice. Very boxy. Well, the operator. Let's try the operator. I saw a picture of this online. It had uh, an operator looking... Boxy looking... Uh, Suppressor. No, no, no. Let's go with the uh, salvo. Let's see what this looks like. A little bit slimmer, but pretty cool. I'm just going to take it off for now since I haven't fired it yet. But I think stocks will work. Yep, stocks work. Okay, cool. But let's just uh, take all this off. Because I will fire this uh, without any attachments. So let's uh, rack the slide there. Very nice, very nice. Not as much capacity as uh, the uh, GS GSH-18. That is a mouthful. But uh, the lack of capacity is kind of balanced out by the fact that it can take attachments. So that's pretty cool. Check uh, if we have any settings here. This is for the mag. No safety. Let's uh, think we can do anything. Nope. Wait, hold on. I want to try something. Since I didn't. Oh wait. Oh, there is a safety. It just doesn't show on the uh, on the uh, the gun itself. Safety on. Can't fire. Safety off. It's up on the touchpad or whatever kind of uh, thing that uh, you're using. But yeah, so there is a safety. It just doesn't show it on the uh, on the gun itself. But it's pretty cool. Can we lock the slide? Yes, we can. I have to do that now for every pistol just to make sure. Locking the slide. Oh, how do we describe locking the slide? Uh... Pull the slide back, then you swipe down, and then left. Or is it left? Oh, no, no, left, then up. Okay, so left. You press left, swipe up. I don't know how to... How to how, I don't know how to... Um, to uh, say that for other controllers, but that's how you do it on the Vive. So you just lock the slide up like that. Release it. I should move the target out further, but uh, I don't know, I'm too lazy. Let's reset the target. Okay, uh, and uh, three meters. Good. But yeah, this is the... Uh, uh, what was the uh, name for this? PL-14. I want to check out... Where is it? The Lebedev. Okay, that's that's it. The Le Lebedev. Everyone knows this. I think this was in Payday 2. I never really played Payday 2 because... It's uh, mostly a multiplayer. But, uh, yeah, I think it's popular in that game. A lot of people uh, keep referencing Payday. But I never play it because, again, I don't like multiplayer games. Oh, let's try it with a suppressor. Let's make sure that's uh, screwed on tight. There we go. And you know what? Where's that laser? Let's put that laser on here. That's not completely square, but that's okay. I'll just do it like that. <laughs> Ooh, hey, we got a new look for the uh, laser here. If you notice, and uh, I think this is probably because of my performance. Uh, if you have Bloom, I think Bloom and uh, HDR on. Just turn it to medium. You notice that the uh, laser now uh, has this little like uh, bloom effect on it. Before it was just a, a dot. Well, actually, I think we can show that off. Hold on. Uh, turn off bloom. Turn off color correction. Boo. And uh, yeah, see, it's just a dot. But when you turn on, lock that in place. <laughs> when you turn on bloom and color correction, there we go. Now we get some some cool uh, cool little uh, effect there. That's pretty cool, huh? 
So now the laser, the laser pops out a bit more than, say, without the uh, bloom. You can really see it, but now it's there. And, uh, yeah, ooh. You can actually see it way back there, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's another thing that Anton changed. We'll talk about in a minute, but uh, let's just move this out of the way. And, uh, whoops. Cool. Love it. It is a pretty, it is a pretty, pretty sweet looking pistol. That Russian design, though, you know, it's very, uh, I don't know what to say. It's very, uh, utilitarian. You know, I mean, it's kind of, it's flashy, but it's not like, you know, too flashy. I don't know. I'm not really much of a gun design critiquer, so I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, the last weapon we get today is the, uh, SR3, it's SR3M, okay, so this is kind of like the um, AS Val or the uh, VSS Vinteres, this is, yeah, in, the, in that category, and the one thing that I really like, oh, did I not change this, I played a little bit of uh, H3VR recently, I changed my quick belt to uh, something else, tactical test, there we go, the uh, one thing that I like that Anton added, for this weapon is this gigantic suppressor not uh well uh, i say gigantic it's it's not actually that big compared to like say the uzi suppressor well, actually, it actually is bigger than the uzi suppressor well, what do you know uh but uh yeah more more bigger suppressors that's that's one thing that i've uh that i've kind of wanted from this game because i've always wanted to uh make my own version of the uh SR25, right? And that's got like, it's pretty much two, uh, two uh, Knight's armament suppressors like welded together. Where is that? It's in here somewhere. Ah, QC9. So it's like two of these, like just, just imagine like two of these like welded together. And pretty much you've got the SR2025 and the M110, yeah, M110 uh, SASS, the SAS. But anyways, this is the uh, SR3, and uh, it's pretty cool. Russian weapons, again, not my specialty, but uh, it looks pretty cool. And uh, I got it on ready to fire. Oops. Oh, did I not, uh, I did not. Hmm. Select held type, 9 by 39 let's fill this. Armor penetrating with the blue tips. Let's actually spawn lock it this time. course everyone's gonna wonder if you can and you can do the uh russian style reload suppressors all the way over there hold on let me just grab this thing okay there we go <laughs> let's see if we can go uh semi-auto Let's change the uh, target. Set the target. There we go. Oh, where am I aiming at? There we go. Cool. Cool. And of course, we got to try it out with a suppressor. Which is, again, I want more big suppressors. I want longer suppressors. I want, one of these days, I want a joke suppressor that's like five of these, like, welded together. And you have to just, like, sh <laughs> that's what I want, really. I want long suppressors. 
that is pretty cool. Oh, and also, uh, I think Anton mentioned it. Let me just uh, take this because I want to actually do something with this. <clears throat> also, Anton mentioned that uh, this magazine can work with the, let's see, VSS Vinteres and the AS Val. Uh, <laughs> nope. Probably in the assault rifle. No, 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 no. Where was it? I'm trying to look for it. Hold on. No, no, no. The machine gun? Uh, where is it? I'm probably... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, cool. But uh, he said that in the devlog that these magazines also work... Uh, for the uh, ASV, ASVAL and the uh, VSS Vinteres. So if you want longer magazines to go with uh, your uh, uh, very stealthy, uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> then uh, you got it. That works pretty good. Let's try the uh, ASVAL. Very cool. And of course, these already have the uh, suppressor uh, integrally. Wait, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, there we go. And uh, let's see, what else did Anton talk about? Let me look at the patch notes here. More, okay, most reflex sites. Oh yeah, the reflex sites. Okay, so Anton did a pass uh, on the reflex sites. So let's just load up... Uh, Let's go with, uh, let's see, go with the Boba 15 here. Let's add this. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Now it's looking like a SR-25. It's a little too long, though, actually. It's it's a little too long. Let's grab a Stanag mag. And it's not, uh, it's 5.56. This is not 7.62, which is, uh, um, yeah, whatever. But one of these days, Anton will add the SR-25. I know it. But uh, yeah, so he did a pass on the reflex sights. So now they should, let's just check out this basic MRO. And if you want, you can adjust the brightness. Ooh, too bright. Barely there. Okay, so barely there. You can't see it. It's pretty much, I guess, turned off. It's still there. You can see a little dot right there. Do you see it? I don't think you can see it, but... Let's just uh, increase that uh, dot. And uh, let's go all the way up. This is max. Now you can see it in... Uh, well, you can't really see it. <laughs> well, you probably could. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe you can see it there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a lot more uh, visible. There we go. Now you can see it. That white strip right there on the... Uh, on the options panel, yeah, you can see it. Or maybe I'm just my eyes are getting used to it because now I can see it even even when it's like not. <laughs> yeah, I can still see the dot. Okay, yeah, my eyes are just getting used to the uh, brightness there. So now you can see it. Oh yeah, you can see it clearly on this white background. That's max, you know, lowest, barely there. So if you're in a dark, uh, dark environment, which I can't show you, I wish I could. Uh, I uh, removed all my mods because every update, that's what I do, just to you know back up, make sure that nothing gets uh, gets ruined. So I, uh, I I move my mods to a different folder. But if I could, I would have showed you the uh, there's this night map that somebody uh, released. I forgot who. Uh, sorry for the modder out there who released the map, but uh, there's this uh, night map that. Uh, that I could probably uh, use this new feature on. You know, just the brightness and stuff. So yeah, that's what uh, Anton did. Is he's playing to add more reflex sites. Let's try, uh, let's try the game point here. Yeah, so you can't really see that. It's kind of hard to see in that white background, but... Oh wait, I don't think this... Uh... Oh, nope. No, not this one. So again, it's an alpha, so that means not not all the uh, reflex sites can be changed, can be adjusted. 
only some of them. This one can be changed. Okay. Ooh, barely there. Lowest setting. And uh, burn your eyes out setting. But now you can see it on uh, nice bright backgrounds. Really cool. So now you can have more. I don't know if this is saved in the uh, vault. Let's just see. Vault is going to stutter for me a bit because I got a lot of saved stuff. Uh, stuff okay, there we go. Scan this. This is a carbine, right? Okay, bling 15. I don't know if this is saved. This is the... This is... No, I don't think it was saved, but it might be brighter. No, it wasn't saved, but maybe uh, Anton will fix that. That'd be really cool, though, right? If it could save your... Uh, your reticule brightness. But, oh, no. All right, let me just delete this. I don't want to clog it up with duplicates. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so the game point didn't work. Hollow Sight Long worked. This is just for posterity. I want to try out all these uh, reflex sights and see if they can change. Yes, you can do the uh, short Hollow Sight. Pretty nice. I don't know what happened to the uh, game point. Okay, game point... Yeah, let's just move all this stuff out of the way. Game point, nope. MRO, yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. The uh, KDR red dot. Let's see if this one works. Uh, not quite. This one is on the no pile. All right. Uh, the Cobra. I need a weapon that can accept the Cobra. No. Put that there. Give me one of these with the uh, dovetail mount. Stick one. Oh, stick this uh, on the thing. Oh, there we go. Now I think that this one could work. I forgot how to change the uh, the uh, zero on this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, was it was it the side? No. How do you change the zero on this again? Completely forgot. I know you can change the reticule. Where is it? There it is. So you can have different ones. But I don't know how to... Oh, there it is. Oh, no. I changed the zero. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. Hold on. This controller, again, needs to needs a little more work. Where is the... Oh, there it is. I want five. Yep. Yeah, okay. This one you can change. Okay, good. Let's go back to default. It's over here on the side. And then you change the reticule over here. But over here is where you change the zero. Cool. So that one works. Oh, I need a I need a Garand. Let's just spawn this one first. I don't think you can change this one, but uh, we will see. Battle rifle, M1, Garand. Uh, no, this one doesn't have a traditional, like, <laughs> let's just put that on a pile. Okay, what else? What else we got? Uh, the MRS. This one has multiple reticules, if you didn't know. It's the back here. I prefer crosshair. Uh, no, you cannot change the brightness. That's uh, too bad, but... That's okay. Uh, the MT-1. Let's see. This one you can change. Yeah, I'm seeing the uh, pattern here. It's just like the basic red dots. Like, you know. But then, again... <laughs> yeah, and it's not really a pattern. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I thought I saw a pattern. I just didn't. The uh, OKP. This one... I don't think so. You cannot change the brightness for this. Again, this is an alpha, so not all the things are going to be active. DK divs. This is dovetail. So I'm going to put it on a... Uh, let's see, how do we change the... Uh... Oh, you can? Nice. Ooh. Extra brightness. Okay. Uh, I just need to take this off. Okay. Put that on the list... 
PK23. This one I think you can. Nope, you can't. Okay. It's good to know. What else? Uh, Red Dot Compact. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Right, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm hitting the right quadrant here. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot how big this gun is now with the suppressor. Uh, Red Dot Tall. Let's see if this one does the... Nope. Does not seem like it should. Uh, it does. The SRS2. Ooh, this one. This one changes. Yep. I can see that. <laughs> so I'll put that on the, the uh, pile that works. And the sustenance reflex. I think this might change. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. Okay. I just want to make sure. Nope, it doesn't. All right. So there you go. Those are the ones that can't change. Uh, and those are the ones that can. So, yeah. And I think Anton said that uh, he's going to work on uh, zeroing, zeroing for the scopes. I said that wrong. I don't know why. So, um, yeah. So if you uh, if you snipe, now you won't have to uh, use the uh, like elevation lines and stuff for uh, <laughs> for shooting because the bullets drop. Now you can just zero that stuff perfectly and it should work. But uh, yeah, all right. I think that's about it for the update. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Uh, reflex sights now. Okay, they have uh, HD luminance. All right, cool. HDR. Lasers have HDR. Model 70 now has a muzzle attach point. Okay, so the Model 70... Oh, man, I'm trying to remember what that is. Model 70... Isn't that a bolt action? I think that was a bolt action. Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Cool. So it now has a muzzle attach point. So that means you can put... Uh... Ah, all right. You can put... Uh... Oh, man. You can put suppressors and stuff in the uh, on the barrel. Do a... 30-06 clip. Uh, I don't know if this is one of the uh, bolt actions that uh, the quick bolting doesn't work properly with, but we will see. Oh, it does. Okay. I'm just uh, short stroking it. <laughs> short stroking it. All right. So now you can put uh, attachments. Uh, on this on this uh, bolt action pretty cool all right not bad I'll just throw that in there okay all right let me see what else is on the uh, patch notes here uh, KSG now spawns with Picatinny sight fixed scaling on the Explore 22 so that means oh yeah I saw this post on uh was it Reddit or was it the Discord? I don't remember which one it was. Oh, I feel like I got to sneeze. <laughs> That's really bad. But uh, so now the Explorer 22 is actually bigger. I can't really uh, show you the previous model, but it's actually bigger now. So uh, do we have a Stanag mag here somewhere? Here we go. Grab this. Oh, I got to sneeze. This is bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, there we go. I got it out. <laughs> sorry about that. If your ears are bleeding, uh, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, so uh, somebody uh, actually sent a photo of a real Explorer 22 and compared it to a Stan Egg Mag and said that this one is actually bigger than the uh, previous model. So it's bigger now. And uh, Anton was kind of right. It looks really weird when scaled up like this. Like, you'd expect a 22... Uh, pistol to like I mean you look at the size of those bullets you'd expect it to be a little smaller but uh... it's such a cute little thing though it's still it's really cute <laughs> all right but yeah so that's been fixed uh, what else did Anton do 
fix the jackhammer metadata. I have no idea what that means. Probably to for like spawning or whatever. Uh, the cause tech tech mod. Uh, okay, it spawns with a site. I think I ran into that issue when I was playing uh, Taken Hold. It didn't have a site on it, but I just used it anyways because it's it's a it's a shotgun. You don't really need to aim. You just need to point it at something and blow it away. Uh, cause hold uh, bolt hold open. Which, uh, never had an issue with that, but, uh, again, I'm not really much of a, like, hardcore, like, knowledge base for firearms, so. So, I don't know what that, uh, entails. Okay, well, I mean, that's, I guess that's fixed. <laughs> and what else? Impact sounds for the foregrip. BP9 magazine now properly inter interpolates into Magwell. I think somebody uh, in the subreddit kind of showed this off. But the VP9 would, I think, uh, I think the problem was that the VP9 would uh, just teleport its magazine into the gun. I don't know. I mean, uh, Yeah, it's, it's a little too fast for me to see, but I don't know what uh, Anton fixed there. He, he, uh, he fixed something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I never really had an issue with that. Because, uh, I'm, you know, when I, if I'm using a gun, I'm too busy reloading <laughs> to not really notice the, uh, the, uh, intricacies of how a magazine slides into a firearm when I'm getting shot at by Susigs, so... Yeah, and I think that might be it for today. I'm looking at the patch notes here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Just, uh, you know, I mean, Anton just got back from his uh, his vacation and uh, gave us something to play around with before um, dropping the big stuff on us, like the uh, new game planner, which is uh, pretty cool. Give us something to do. Which is nice. And uh, from what I've heard, he's going to drop more attachments, especially in this alpha cycle. So you can all expect that cool stuff. I might have to delete all of my saved files, huh? And then start over because of all the new attachments. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. People just say, I'll just keep it. But I like to keep my, uh, I like to keep my vault clean because I have one of every weapon. I don't have multiples. Because, again, it just gets a little more complicated when you have, like, 15 M uh, Mark Mark 18s, you know. I just prefer to have, like, one Mark 18 that I use that's mine and mine alone, my configuration. So, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to uh, restart my whole uh, vault. Wait, did I not uh, charge? There we go. But I love this. I, I, I know that's the that's the one thing I like about this uh, this update is this gigantic suppressor. I want more. I want more of these big, huge suppressors. Give me more. I want them. I want them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, they're pretty cool weapons, though. I I really find myself like gravitating towards this uh this uh PL14 and I might put it to work in uh future taking holds but uh yeah it is you know this is a pretty good drop pretty good drop of weapons Where's the other one? There it is. Whee! All right, well, that's about it for today. Hopefully I didn't uh, scare you with my sneeze. <laughs> it's the worst thing when you're wearing a VR headset and you got to sneeze. You can't, you know, you can't take it off. Well, I mean, I can't. I could, but I'd probably mess up everything since I'm recording as well. But, uh, yeah, 
Anyways, that's about it for today, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, I'll probably play some Taken Hold later. But not maybe, maybe, maybe later. Maybe not. I might be busy a little today, but uh, yeah. Next time.